Welcome to Mega Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk about the new Walking Dead comic, issue 177. Now, this is going to be a bit of a raw review. I got a lot of things going on, so I won't be able to edit this as much. Uh, and there are going to be spoilers. Obviously, we're discussing everything we read in the uh, most recent issue. Before we dive into the recent issue, though, I just want to say how excited I am that the sample copies for issue two of my comic Doomsday Kingdom just came in issue two and then the second print of issue number one the pre-orders are still available at doomsdaykingdom.com this is the moment where it, it's real again oh my god just getting the comic in hand in physical form is just I don't know there's something to it and some of these panels too like this one in particular Oh man, I've been waiting to get that in comic form. That one down there, just absolutely glorious. And the first page, which is going to be a poster as well, just, oh, I love seeing that. Uh, the quality is amazing too. The abs it's just, I'm so excited. Anyway, I don't want to go on and on about this, but doomsaykingdom.com, check it out. The pre orders are open. And if you have any questions whatsoever, if you're new, doomsdaykingdom at gmail.com uh, we can answer anything any questions you have there anyway diving right into this let's do the recap first uh, the first couple pages covers Alexandria we have Rick and Mikey going over um, dealing with uh, Mikey losing his mother and then um, I think it's his whole family in it uh, by now it is <laughs> and then Rick dealing with the loss of Andrea just discussing a poem thing a little touching it's kind of like a replacement for Carl so to speak uh, because Carl's living at the hilltop he's still there right now right anyway and then we have Eduardo at the hilltop catching Dante and Maggie fooling around in the weirdest spot possible around all the uh, swords and axes and guns uh, I don't kind of like a weird weapon shed they got going on. Anyway, Maggie's still in that that phase of still clinging on the Glen. You can tell, which is understandable, absolutely. And then we see this new Sebastian character. I kind of like this. He's got this like 1950s look, right? And he's on a picnic with this girl. You got beautiful scenery all around. And then you see these walkers coming in close. Now this is something that a comic book can do, but in a, in a, in the TV show it'd be a little more difficult because uh, the zombies make noise when they walk, when they shuffle, when they, you know what I mean? So how did he not hear them coming? Maybe he was just so focused on getting some, he just selective hearing. Or maybe he just assumed that Mercer would take care of it. Anyway, Mercer shows up, throws these really cool throwing axes in the zombie's head. And I'm going to show you one image from the comic. I don't show a lot of the images uh, mainly because of uh, copyright every here and there for uh, certain issues we do show the images that are the most prominent or it's kind of like a helpful thing but I don't know if you can even see but Mercer standing on top there and another reason is you guys already read the comic so what's the point of showing you the the pictures you got the comic you can open it up look at this image you, you, the kid Sebastian a little asshole is like man you can't handle two zombies what the hell's the matter with you and you see behind him there's a trail of zombies so that's definitely a sign that he's an absolute badass. Now this is touching the next part, but a little on the edge of being too coincidental. You have Michonne and Elodie. Uh, is that how you say it? Elodie? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, they, She sees her apartment, Elodie's apartment, and then uh, they hug and they're still crying. And Elodie talks about how uh, her sister died and they met up with a group of people that um, wanted them to do things, sexual favors, and she wouldn't do it. She, The other sister ended up getting killed because of them, and she ended up not doing it but also killing them. And that's almost exactly what happened with Michonne's situation being raped by the governor. So Michonne is like, listen, trust me, I understand completely what you've been through. I do like how Charlie Adler draws them with very similar features, you know. Uh, you could look at her and that's Michonne's daughter. For a comic book, I think that is, it's not important for a TV show, but for a comic book, I don't know, it adds a little a little special touch. She's not identical. She has similar features, so I really enjoy that. And like I said, it's a little too coincidental, but let's go to one of my biggest negatives. We see Sebastian coming back, uh, bitching to his mother, who is the governor. And she is uh, a little harsh on Mercer. Her son's an asshole. And then Mercer's in the locker room and one of his buddies is like, listen, they're going to get themselves killed. We don't even got to do anything. And then we're waiting 
for that to happen and you can lead and we'll take over and then Sadiq is kind of like uh I didn't hear anything you know he shows up in a locker room and that's a cliffhanger and the reason why I say that's it, kind of like I much would have rather have um uh, Mercer just expressing how he's not happy with this situation and then do a line from him and end with a detailed image of his face with some kind of Oh my, oh my God, is he Rick-like? Remember when Rick was at Alexandria and he's like, if these people don't fall in line, we'll just take this place from them, you know? That's like a, he sounds like a villain, you know? If you don't know Rick or Grimes, that sounds like a, a very villain uh, thing to say. Now, this Mercer situation is the same thing. He, he comes off as kind of like a villain, but in the same strength, Sebastian's an asshole. I, I don't want to eat shit from that little asshole. Why? Why? Why would anybody want to? So you kind of relate to them. You know, you kind of understand where he's coming from. And then Sadiq walks in and it's either misleading where it's like, listen, dude, we're blown off stress, yada, yada, yada. And nothing's going to come from it because we get a lot of misleading cliffhangers in comic book format because you always need a cliffhanger in the comic book. But uh, or it could end up. Uh, Sadiq could get C-3PO'd where he walks into a room and he's like oh, oh I didn't see nothing and then C-3PO gets shot up from Star Wars the old originals and something happens to Sadiq he disappears and now it starts like this well wait a minute Sadiq was here with us in Commonwealth now he's gone something shady's going on here and Mercer was behind it maybe Mercer killed him so that way Sadiq didn't tell the governor or tell anybody else what's been going on so um Two, yeah, two things, my biggest cons is, uh, recently in a prediction video I said it, it, I think it would be kind of ridiculous for the Commonwealth to let our community, our survivors go and not follow them back and make sure they're not bigger than they say they are, make sure they're not uh, badder than they claim to be or, or villains or enemies or uh, kind of make sure they are, are safe. <clears throat> they're, they're new neighbors after all and they're, they're complete strangers essentially. So. The one thing they said is, after this, we'll let you go on your way or you can stay here. I thought that was kind of silly because what if they are a threat? And this Commonwealth community has grown so big, yet they seem to be so cautious, but they let this slide. I don't know if I agree with that. So we're going to see how it plays out before we knock that. And the only other thing is the Sebastian stuff with uh, the governor and it how it feels just like a repeat of Alexandria. You have the Monroes running Alexandria. You got their kids. Their kids are assholes. I kind of got the vibe of Eugene in the TV show walking in and Carter being like, we're going to take this place over. In the comic book, it was Glenn walking up to uh, Spencer, wasn't it? Or Nicholas. I'm sorry. It was Spencer. Glenn, blah, 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 blah. Glenn walking up to Nicholas and Spencer and all them talking. And Olivia. Olivia and Spencer weren't all there. You know, they weren't all about about it, but Nicholas was. And he chased Glenn down. He said, we got to kill him. This, that, and the third. I'm getting that repetitive vibe. And it, to be honest, I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. I would have rather just, um, you don't need that cliffhanger with Sadiq. I mean, maybe it goes in a direction where it's important, but... I'll wait to see where it goes, but let's just have Mercer saying something that leaves us going, oh man, okay, this could go two different ways. He could be the next, you know, big bad, or he could be somebody who is in a shitty situation and he's just sick of the bullshit, you know? Which, like I said before, it's absolutely understandable. So this was issue 177. It came with a variant cover. I didn't make it to the comic shop to pick up the two last issues of The Walking Dead. So next month when we review the new issue 178, I'll pick up the variant covers for the last you know two or three issues. And I'll show you guys in physical form what they all look like. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And also Oblivion Song. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to try to upload a, a little uh, video about this. But it's a new comic by Robert Kirkman. I was able to read the first five issues. They released Skybound uh, in a genius move, I feel. Because once you read past issue five, I think it is, or six, you understand why they released a volume to kind of tease him because there's a cliffhanger moment at the end of the first volume the first story arc that opens up the world of oblivion song into so many different possibilities and it's so very exciting now if you don't know what oblivion song is real quick it is this area that was consumed let's say 
I forget the city. It's like Chicago or something. But this uh, certain square mile was consumed by this uh, field. Okay, and I don't want to give too much away. I want you to go and uh, experience it for yourself. But let's say this square mile or five mile square was consumed by this other dimension, and people who got lost in there are still in there. And this guy is going in rescuing these people and pulling them out of this dimension and then getting treatment and then finding their family members and reconnecting them and stuff like that. So, and there's monsters and like cool shit in this dimension. So that's as spoiler free as I want to get. Um, don't, if that interests you at all, just go and read it and check it out. They have the first issue drop today. First issues are, are always a little more difficult to get. So go ahead and read it in di digital if it's sold out in your local comic book shop. And let me know what you think about Oblivion Song. Like I said, I'm going to probably upload a separate video tomorrow or something just discussing that in a little more detail. So thoughts and opinions about the new issue of The Walking Dead down in that comment box. Also, if you read Oblivion Song already, leave your thoughts and opinions about that. And how excited are you for these physical copies? We, I will be announcing when they're shipping very soon. So, uh, again, go to doomsdaykingdom.com. I am through the roof. Every time I get the physical form, it's just like, this is real. <laughs> you know, like, that's the moment. I don't know. There's something about it. In a digital form, it's you're seeing it come to life, and it's so amazing in its own way. But when you get the physical copy, there's something that just says... It is a thing. Like, it is, it, it's official now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So, issue two, Fireworks and Fevers, and then issue one, the second print, uh, limited run, variant cover. It's different from our first cover, and this is do, uh, the Feeding Post, which is something that uh, will be a staple in Doomsday Kingdom for the first 75 issues, uh, give or take. It is a completed story around 200-ish, 200 275, I think, uh, if the entire story is told. So uh, we'll discuss that down the road. But, again, thoughts and opinions in the comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn.